I'm looking at the patch notes. Now, to be clear, I've done my absolute best to avoid these patch notes until looking at them now. So that I'm going in completely blind. Because some other times I've looked at the patch notes beforehand and then made a video and it, it just doesn't feel right. So I have not seen any of these patch notes yet. This is Malga shit. I don't care about any of this. Battle of the Beasts. I don't care. I don't care about Winter Wonderland. Weapon skins. Okay. Introducing weapon skins. I know where to customize your heroes. We're kicking things off with a hard light theme for Reaper, Ryan, and Mercy. Sleek designs with custom visuals, center effects, can be quick. All right. It's going to cost like $65. I, I don't care. Hero updates. This is what I was looking for. Maximum ultimate charge preserved on hero swap reduced from 25 to 15%. Okay. Here's my issue with this, is this shouldn't be in the game in the first place. You should not keep any alt charge when you swap. You should go to zero. Like, they're going to go they went from 0% to 30. Everyone's like, this is garbage. Remove this. And went, okay, we're going to 25. And everyone's like, okay, that does nothing. Remove it. It's garbage. And then they're going to go to 15%. Everyone's going to be like, wow, this still does nothing. Please remove it. It's garbage. And then they're going to go to like 10%. And everyone's going to be like, this is still ass. Please remove this. And then they're going to get rid of it. And it's going to be in like four years time where we're finally going to fix this. Where this should just not be in the game. This incentivizes counterpicking way too much, which are already way too prevalent. People would counterpick regardless of this, but giving them an actual advantage for doing it is unbelievably stupid. Doomfist. We got some Doom changes, baby. Hopefully it's some buffs. Give me some Doom buffs, but I don't even play them. Meteor Strike. Never generates 75 health per second while on the air. That's a... <laughs> okay. Ultimate cost increased 60%. Mm, doom meta, maybe? Doom meta, maybe? <laughs> 75 health per second. That's so strong. That's actually so strong. Wow. Developer comments. One of the most effective uses for an ultimate ability like Meteor Strike is to save it as an escape in order to grab a health pack instead of using it against his foes. Doomfist will never recover health during the targeting phase, so it can be used more offensively. I mean, fair enough. I mean, this is a bit of a dumb change, but... <laughs> I mean, this is not how you buff Doomfist, bro. You don't make him heal more. Like, he's already... He can already survive just fine. I understand buffing Meteor Strike because it's dog shit, but, like, this is a super cheese way to do it. And then they make it more expensive for no reason as well. Just make this less of a buff so you don't have to compensate the for a nerf. That's stupid. Junker Queen Scaragun. Spread reduced 8%. Okay. Queen is going to fry this season. Queen is going to fry people. I'm I'm ready for the Queen one-shot combos. Tightening the spread of Junk Junker Queen Scaragun will make it more effective at range against small targets. Give a slightly more teamfight presence before fully committing to getting in close. That's fine. Mauga. Base health reduced from 500 to 350. Base armor increased from 0 to 150. Head hit volume reduced 15%. Okay, so his head hitbox is smaller, and he's getting armor. That's good, because he was fucking ass. He was probably one of the worst heroes in the game when he released. Incendiary and Volatile Chain Guns. Spread for firing both guns, reduced 15%. That's good. Fire Rate Multiplier for firing both guns, reduced from 25% to 0%. Fire Rate Multiplier? So you shot faster if you shot both guns? That's very weird. Damage per shot increased from 4.5 to 5. Damage fall off range increased from 25 to 30. Max ammo increased from 300 to 350. Movement speed penalty reduced from 20 to 15% per gun. This hero is going to be crazy. Maybe? This is an exorbitant amount of buffs. This is, this is crazy. This is like... He went from being like the most dog shit hero in the game to he's just going to run you over now. Like imagine him in a decent rush comp now. He might actually be good. Now, keep in mind, I'm a little biased, right? I'm, I'm a tank player at heart now. I'm not really the DPS one trick I used to be. So I'm I'm pretty biased in favor of buffing tanks, but I'll try my best to be a little more objective here. I think this is too many buffs at one tank. I think it's hard to, to say for a fact that these things were holding him back when we know for a fact these things were. So I think buffing this is good. This is a really good change. This might be too much, but we'll see. Oh, there's more? Overrun can no longer be interrupted by hack. That's very good. Damage reduction increased from 30 to 50%, so even more survivable. Cardiac overdrive, life stream increased from 60 to 70%. Berserker passive, overhealth conversion rate increased from 40 to 50. Let's hear what's up, sorry. 
This hero is gonna be so crazy. What do you? This is so many buffs, dude. This is way too much. This is way too much. Every single part of his kit was buffed. <laughs> Every part. Oh my god, that's he's gonna be so good. Oh, the ram changes. Please, ram buffs, baby. Please, ram buffs. Got a lot of constructive feedback from players when Mago was available. It was just mostly all the top 500 tanks, including myself, saying, wow, this hero is like actual dog shit. So, like, yeah, it probably was, actually. Mago is available trying his free preview weekend. We've adjusted his kit for his official launch to give him the ability to last longer. Yeah, and, and do it literally everything else. <laughs> He's going to be crazy. Base health, base health reduced from 300 to 200. Base armor increased from 0 to 100. Okay, so that's in his, like, staff form. That's good. Void Accelerator. Projectile size increased from 0.075 to 0.1 meters. Damage increased. This is like the, um... Wait, is this his gun? No, that's not his gun, right? Is this his gun? I thought that was his... I thought that was his shit on the floor. I think this is his gun. <laughs> if that's his gun, that may be really good. Ramatra is quite powerful during his nemesis form, though his base Omnic form may be too easy to ignore for a tank hero. We're adding some power there. Do even know the trader? Okay, that's fine. I mean, Ram was kind of dog shit. This is fine. Hopefully, oh, I was going to say, hopefully Sigma nerfs. Nothing major, just a little bit. Okay, regeneration re reduced from 185. Okay, I'm fine with that. I think Sigma was a little bit too strong. A little bit too strong. I wouldn't say it was his shield is problem. I think his grasp is the issue. I think his grasp gives him too much over health when he sucks and he can suck for too long. Either one of them, I would have preferred to be changed. But... This is not the end of the world. I'm okay with this. Winston Tesla Cannon. Now ignores armor damage reduction. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're getting 1.0 Winston back. Back when he the fucking strat was to just perma melee everyone. Oh my god. This is so good. He's actually going to be able to kill Brig. He can actually kill Brig, maybe. Oh my god, what a good change. Dude, Winston players are feasting. I love that change. That is so good. Oh, I love it. I'm honestly, with this patch so far, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. I'm not super big on the, the Doom buffs and all of the Mauga buffs. I like some of them. I don't like all of them. The Doom buffs are a little weird. And the Mauga buffs are a little weird. But so far, everything else has been good. I like Ram. I like Sigma. I like what they did to, to Winston. This is good so far. I don't care about the dev comment. Endothermic Blaster. Maximum ammo reduced from 150 to 120. Big W. Big W. Is that all they changed? That is literally all they changed. Reducing the maximum ammo to limit how long May is able to continuously slow an enemy target. Now that primary fire deals more damage. Okay, that makes sense. I would have liked a wall change or an ice block change because those, that shit is really annoying. But this is fine. Uh, this is good. I like this. Biotic field. Cooldown increased from 15 to 18 seconds. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. Soldier's self-sustainability is potent. and makes him difficult to deal with while he's in an area. Rather than reduce his raw healing output again, we're increasing the amount of time between consecutive uses to open up longer periods of vulnerability. I, I hate that Blizzard's current balance philosophy is just increase cooldowns. I don't like it at all. I think a much healthier way, if you wanted to nerf this, which I don't think you should have, if you wanted to nerf this though, Realistically, you should have just lowered the healing output a l just a little bit. Let's say, let's say it's like 150 over like three seconds or what? I don't know what it is. I don't care about the numbers, but let's say it was something like that. You would lower it by like 10% or just or, or like 5%. You don't give it three extra seconds. Like it's already 15. That's really long for Overwatch. This is like you get to use it once every team fight, and this is like you still get to use it once every team fight. Like this doesn't change anything. And, and like an actual team fight, but it, it just makes it more annoying to use. It's just, I don't like it. I, I don't like that change. Sombra, EMP. Ability lockout duration increased from 1.5 to 3 seconds. Damage reduced from 30 to 25% of current health. What the actual fuck? 
Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> that might be the worst balance change I've ever seen. That is so bad. That is actually so bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's trolling. You, Whoever did this should be fired. That's awful. That is so awful. Three seconds. Fucking hell. All right. Mm. This is 100. We're either. It's going to be Doom Sombra or Winston Sombra meta. There is no way. It's probably going to be Doom Sombra because Doom and Sombra just work together a little better than Sombra and Winston do. I'm, I'm expecting a Doom Sombra meta here. Fuck me, this is- that is awful. That is so awful. Torbjorn Overload. Overhealth increased from 75 to 100. <laughs> no, dude. Why? <laughs> no, dude. What the fuck is that? Why would you do that? He was already good. <laughs> Why do you make him- Like- the thing people hate about Torb is the fact that he's like borderline invincible in the 1v1. You just made him even better. This is fucking stupid. That that change is awful. That, the, so far, the Sombra and the Torb changes are disgustingly bad. The Soldier change is terrible. The May change is good. Soldier is bad. Sombra is criminal. And Torb's is just awful. This is truly awful. Dude, this patch started really good and now it's just awful. It's so bad. Tracer Pulse Pistols, damage increase from 5.5 to 6. That's a W change. That's a W change. I think they sh should have just nerfed the support heroes instead of buffing Tracer, but we buffed Tracer. Actually, no, I take that back. You should have kept Tracer the same and nerfed all the support heroes. I I'm, this change is okay, but it's temporary because they're going to have to re-nerf that once the supports are nerfed. Support. Baptiste. Biotic Longer. Please heal nerfs. Please heal nerfs. Please heal nerfs. Please, please heal nerfs. Primary fire, I'm overdosed from a 45 to 36. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I mean, this is a good change. This is good, but... What the fuck? Is this it? Is That can't be the only change. That's the only change! <laughs> no dude what do you mean <laughs> how is that the only change he's the best hero in the game how is this the only change that he gets his ammo dude what soldier gets like giga nerfed and fucking and bap gets like a slap on the wrist bro soldier's not even good what the fuck is that? Um, oh, Baptiste has a high amount of sustained damage in addition to his various survival tools. We prefer to keep his long cooldown abilities feeling impactful. So we're gonna be pulling back on some of his damage potential. But this is not... But that No, but this... The, like, how often on Baptiste are you going through all 45 bullets before you reload? It's basically never. Because by the time that you're even close to going through this 45 bullets, you've already used all of your heal fucking grenades anyway. Because you do shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal. Which means you only get 10, you, so you're only gonna get through 30 of the fucking 45 rounds anyway before you're reloading in most cases. Uh, this is weird. This is really weird. I don't like that at all. I really don't. I think keep the ammo the same. Just reduce the damage and the healing. This is fucking awful. That is terrible. Whip shot damage reduced from 80 to 70. Thank God. I don't know why they uh, buffed it last patch, but all right. Brigitte ended up being the best performing support hero in the game by a far margin since the last patch. It's likely a result of more than just the damage breakpoint change that she received, but it was a significant increase to our offense. So we're varying it and we'll continue to... Dude, the, honestly, I'm... I, the Blizzard balance team is so stunningly dog shit at their job. I'm... I'm... I, it is genuinely unbelievable that people get paid to do this. We buffed it last patch, even though we shouldn't have. So this patch, all we did for the entire season, instead of nerfing the hero who's really overpowered, we've decided to just revert the buffs we gave her last time. 
What a fantastic solution. Keriko. Suzu removed. Baby. Let's go. Healing all Fudu. Projectile speed increased from 14 to 18. Sure. Whatever. I, d I don't care. Protection Suzu. Invulnerability duration reduced from 0.85 to 0.65. Very good. Healing explosion increased from 8 to... What? Why though? <laughs> why? I don't understand why. Why? She's so good already. We just buffed Kiriko. <laughs> this is a good nerf. But fuck me. That changes. That is awful. That is so awful. Why would they do that? Healing explosion, so more AoE healing in the game. <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck? I don't even know what to say. Kiriko was already the best duelist hero in the game. She was by far the best hero for dueling in the game. On top of the fact that she had insanely high survivability because of protection Suzu, and now it heals more and Basically has the same invulnerability effect applied to it anyway. So it's just a buff. So Kariko gets buffed. Like, hugely buffed. Oh my god, that is actually so bad. That is so bad. Reducing the protection Suzu invulnerability time further will help it feel less frustrating to play against, but still enable it to have big playmaking moments, although with a stricter timing requirement. To counterbalance that power loss for making Kariko's healing more reliable... <laughs> <laughs> she is <laughs> she's already got one of the highest healing outputs in the game it's all good man just make it even higher dude that's literally all they did that's everything that's everything oh no dude i don't think i'm gonna play the game this season probably wondering the lack of overwatch videos i literally have not played overwatch since the last time i streamed so it's been like over a month since i last played overwatch i don't play the game anymore it is so bad which is why, like, all my videos are, like, super old Season 7 stuff. But I need to re-record. I'm literally out of Overwatch stuff. I have to play Season 8 a little bit to get some footage. And then hopefully I can coast on the 10 hours I play of this season to get me through the whole fucking season where I don't have to play the game anymore. Because I really don't want to play if this is what we're looking at. Mercy. Mercy. Activating Valkyrie no longer disconnects staff. Okay. Whatever. That's it. That's all the that's all the changes. That's all the changes. <laughs> that's everything. No. This patch is so bad. Overall, it's just a classic Overwatch patch where they just destroy the game for another season. I just don't get how they're so bad at their jobs. They are so bad. I'm stunned by how shit this patch is. Every patch, they just fuck the game even more with the support heroes. It's unreal. I just want one patch where the support heroes are actually... Like, DPS is already such a bad role. There's no reason to nerf anything in there. Other than Sombra, who's just, like, cancer. I think every DPS and tank should get at least minor buffs. And the support should get nerfed. Outside of Sombra. And maybe some other small cases. But this is just bad. This is very bad. Okay, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Mwah.